welcome back to a new tutorial. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to record face and body motion capture for MetaHumans in Unreal Engine 5.6. Here's a little demonstration of the face and body mocap we're gonna be doing today. Hey, what's up everybody? Check out this facial and body mocap sync in Unreal Engine MetaHumans 5.6. <laughs> There are some serious changes to the workflow in 5.6, so let's jump in. First step is to get ready to record our face capture. So this is the rig that I use to record face captures. It is from Face Motion Capture, link down below. Really like it, it's the only one I've ever used. And also to record the facial capture, I will be using my iPhone 14 Pro. I will be capturing facial data using the Live Link Face app for iPhone. So let's get this started. So first things first, let's put the head rig on take these off let's go ahead and open up our live link there we go all right so we want to make sure all of our settings are correct also so I'm not going to use the Wi-Fi address but we want to make sure we're in metahuman animator mode and not an arc link we want to make sure our target FPS is at 60 and we don't need any of this other stuff enabled so there we go so I'm gonna rename this to demo and basically you have to record a calibration take always. So I always call my calibration take the zero take. For the calibration take, you have to look, do a few different poses. Basically, you're looking straight ahead neutral. Look to the right, look to the left, and then give them a T. All right, there we go. So that was enough to capture our calibration take for the animation. So with that, now MetaHuman will be able to calibrate and we can record our. Now that we have our head rig set, let's set up our body motion capture. Capture the body animation, I have a DSLR webcam set up in my room here. Let's jump in and record this body mocap. Make sure we are recording on the body capture camera. Looks good. I'm gonna step back here. I'm going to start recording on my face capture. Do a T pose. Clap for sync. Hey, what's up everybody? Check out this facial and body mocap sync in Unreal Engine MetaHumans 5.6. Let's go ahead and pop this out. Take this off here. Now that we have our calibration and our demo take recorded, let's go ahead and get these into Unreal Engine. So step one is now that we are in the Live Link face app, I'm gonna click down here on our takes. Scroll down to select our calibration and our demo take. Great, and I'm gonna send these to Basilio Sync, which is how I keep everything on my local network. We're gonna add these two face records and they're putting them up line. So now that we've captured our body and face animations, we need to process our body animation in a mocap software. The software that I'm using to process the body animations is called Marionette. So let's jump into Marionette. So I'm just going to import my video. We're gonna to go to the part where I do the T-pose right there. I'm gonna come up and calibrate that. All right, and then I'm gonna set my in marker right there. Let's jump to the end of this clip. There we go right there. And let's just set our out. Now I'm gonna insert this. And this is going to run its basic motion capture processing on this clip. Good basics. So let's go ahead and click on clean motion. It's gonna run this very quickly here. Marionette has finished processing of our clip. It's got a bunch of foot locks in it. Body animation is ready to export. Let's click on menu, come up to export, and we don't want to export our T-pose as the first frame of the animation, but we do want to export these clips. If we had multiple ones, they would export them each individually. We just have one clip for now. We do want to include the mesh and blend shapes, and we want to reset the origin to the first frame. So let's export our timeline, save that. So now that we have processed our body animation, let's import and process our facial animation as well. The major update to MetaHumans is that there are a few more plugins to enable. Before you do any processing, the new plugin that you need to make sure you have is called the MetaHuman Animator Depth Processing Plugin. So make sure that this is not only viewed in your launcher, but then that it is also installed to your 5.6 engine as well. And you wanna make sure you have your MetaHumans plugin installed. So you want your MetaHumans and 
MetaHuman Animator Depth uh, Processing enabled. So once you have those in, enabled in your library in the project, then you're gonna come up to Edit Plugins and we're gonna search for MetaHumans and you wanna make sure that basically all of these are connected, right? We want the MetaHuman SDK, the Live Link Creator, Calibration and depth processing, all of these you need to have on and animator as well. Make sure all of those options are enabled. All right, now that we have successfully exported our FBX out of Marionette, now we'll have to import that and retarget that body animation within Unreal Engine. So I'm going to drag in this FBX here and we're going to import this. There's a lot more new settings in the 5.6 importer. For this, you wanna make sure that there's no skeleton selected and you do not wanna use T0 as a reference pose. And you wanna make sure you're importing your skeletal meshes and you wanna make sure you're importing your animations as well. So let's go ahead and import. All right, here we go. So what's great is that it has a T pose set up for my skeleton mesh right there. So. I'm gonna click on the animation and here we go. This is the mocap that we just recorded. Looks great, everything seems to be working well. So I'm gonna minimize this. I'm going to, first of all, save everything. And then I'm gonna right click and go down to retarget animation. We're gonna select the target mesh. So I'm gonna go down and choose my Jared body mesh for the MetaHuman that I will be using. Um, which is for me, it is the Jared body mesh. So there we go. I'm gonna select my tutorial animation and here we go. So let's go ahead and export this animation as save this to tutorials. Great. Boom, so now we have our MetaHuman enabled animation ready for us. Now that we have our body retargeted to our MetaHuman skeleton, let's go ahead and start processing the facial animations in Unreal Engine. So the process for processing live link facial animations is a little bit different. So what is different in 5.6 is now we're gonna come up to tools up here, come down to here to live link hub. And now look, a whole new application is opening. So now you're gonna see this fun window and this is the Live Link Hub. I'm gonna come up here to the Capture Manager layout and I'm gonna click on Add Device. We're gonna do a Take Archive Ingest. I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna come down here, click on the three dots and I'm gonna to go to the folder that has the uh, face records in it, which is from today. So I'm gonna select that folder and boom, here are my two face records, our calibration and our demo takes. One of the things you're gonna to wanna to do before you do anything in the Live Link Hub is to make sure that your plugins are enabled. So you wanna come in here and make sure your MetaHuman Animator Depth Processing plugin is enabled and you have restarted. So once that is done, I'm gonna take our calibration take and our demo take, and I'm going to add them to the queue and then I'm gonna start their processing. They have both finished processing. All right, they're imported. So now we are done with the Live Link Hub, so we can go ahead and close that. Back into our Unreal Engine, and we're gonna right click, and I'm gonna come down here to MetaHuman, and I'm gonna make a new MetaHuman identity. I'm gonna call this demo to one identity. All right, let's go ahead and open that. So we're gonna come up to Create Plugin, let's Create Components from Footage. Let's come down to our demo take zero, which is our calibration take. We're gonna promote the frames that are crucial. So first let's promote our looking straight to camera. And then we're gonna come back and click the button to free it up. I'm gonna scroll through to I'm looking to the right and promote that frame. Click this button to unlock us. Come back into the left now. I'm gonna promote that frame there. So now I have three frames promoted, not the teeth yet. Just those three, let's come up and solve our MetaHuman identity. All right, now that the identity solve is done, we're gonna come right over here and we're going to auto-rig our MetaHuman identity. We're gonna come up here to our neutral pose and I'm gonna add a pose, I'm gonna add a teeth pose. And then let's scroll all the way here and let's, sometimes if this isn't available like this, just kind of mouse over to the next key and then it'll be available. So we're gonna promote this one. There we go, and now we'll come up here to fit teeth. All right, and now that we've done all those steps, we'll click prepare for performance. Our identity has finished processing, so let's go ahead and save. 
and minimize this. There it is right there, our identity. So I'm gonna right click now, come back down to MetaHumans, and I'm gonna create a new MetaHuman performance. And we'll call this demo to performance. Let's go ahead and open this up. All right, so first things first is select our identity, which we recorded, which is this one right here. Close this guy. And then our footage that we recorded is demo one. You can put a visualization head mesh on. I'm not gonna do that. All I'm gonna do right now is just run this processor. Now that it is finished processing, um, and I've only picked the first take basically, I'm gonna go up to export animation, mocap two. Let's call this demo two phase one. And we don't very carefully want to enable head movement because we're gonna take the head movement from the body animation basically. So let's hit create. Now we've got our body animation and our head animation. So let's go ahead and combine those in a sequence, a level sequence with our metahuman. So we'll call this demo to one sequence. Let's open this guy up here. We're gonna add our mocap metahuman here with his little skivvies on. And I'm gonna add this body animation, add our facial animation. I'm also going to add an audio track. And then let's add our, go for our, this take right here. There it is. All right. What's up, everybody? Check out this facial and body vocab sync in Unreal Engine MetaHumans 5.6. So that little animation you just saw is what we recorded today. This is how to create a body and facial mocap in Unreal Engine for MetaHumans in 5.6. If you have any questions about the process, please let me know. I'll see you next time.